friends. What if you don't have any friends? That's a problem. Like this video, hit the like button. Smoothie wood. Comment on this video. We're keeping the message of a happy and healthy like it. life. Subscribe it. Yes. Is that even a subscribe? Subscribe to it. Subscribe. Isn't that right? Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell so you get the messages when we when we go live. Things like that. Subscribe to it. I have a question for you. I don't have an answer. You do have an answer. Because I am a single person working out on my own, I would like my brother to share. He would like to share how a parent schedules in a daily workout routine, a regimen. You gotta figure out what everybody else is doing first. <clears throat> Time management. What do you mean you have to figure out what everybody else is Listen, doing? Listen, uh, kids first. I'm sorry. You can plan all you want to, but if your little one or your old, older one comes knocking in your room and you plan on working out at, at 5 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock at night, whatever the case may be, you will have to, yeah, time management. Figure out what is going to work for you. Now, easier said than, easier said than done. Check this out. What I do on a daily basis with my students, high school, college, First thing is time management, so they can accomplish practice, their, their team meetings, workouts, classes, all of those things, meeting with advisors, every increment of their day scheduled. Now, there, some obviously they're not gonna follow, but they got other things to do, they have a life. But you simplify it to the easiest, in the easiest ways possible so they can see if they have their phone out, they can go, okay, I got my advisor meeting from 8.30 to 9 o'clock in the morning. From from 9 uh, to 9.15, I got a break, so I need a snack. I write that in there. Eat snack on the way to class. 9.30 to 10.45, I have English. From 10.45 until 12 o'clock, I'm just going to rest. You have to schedule it. I break it down. If you don't break it down, it ain't going to work. So time management is really going to help you. If you can't plan out the entire week, then do it on a daily basis. The night before. Well, listen, some people, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's too much work. It ain't too much work. It's, it's really not. I guarantee you, if you spend 15 minutes writing down meals that you like to eat, the different types of workouts you like to do, when can you accomplish the books you like to read? What do you like to do on a Friday night or a Friday morning? Whatever the case may be, it's up to you. I, during this time that we're in right now, I have to adjust every single day because I'm meeting with my students online and our meetings rarely come at the same time. It's not gonna come at every, I schedule hey, 2 p.m. on a Wednesday. They may not hit me up until five. But they let me know, so that means I got a little bit of time to meet with this other student. Then I have a break for an hour. Let me knock out my workout in right there. One hour. One hour. I got what? If I if you need to wake up early, do that while everyone's still asleep. Knock it out. Get a little stretch and do a little yoga. You know, do something. The kamenatsu that I just watched you say. Isn't that a move? In yoga? Yeah, it's like a. Chaturanga? Oh, that's what it is. The chatty pack. That's what I call it. The chatty pack. 30 minutes is better than zero minutes. <laughs> Work it in your schedule. Time management. I guarantee you if you do that. If you leave it to chance, it's not mm. going to happen. No. Like right now, I could be working out, but I'm here for you. Where is it? Where is it? Is it right the middle? there. Middle? I'm here for you. Time management. Do it on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. I work out first thing in the morning because I know that once I get started in my work day, yep. once I do everything after work, 
I'm pretty much not going to be willing to do anything besides chill out after work. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know myself. You have to know yourself and be honest with yourself. You know you're not going to be the type of person that can wake up at 5.30. Don't try to make yourself wake up at 5.30. Yep. But if you know you're the type of person that would like to wake up at 5.30 in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning, set your alarm mm -hmm. so that you can wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I got to. I'm just saying this. I got tired. There was a point where I was doing my morning workouts five o'clock before I taught school. After that, make sure everything everything was good. Then I go back to the gym later on at night. I just got you know you get burned out a lot. You know that happens. How do you adjust? I on a daily basis now. It's if you plan out your week and you know something's gonna come up, you know that your your child or your mom, your dad or someone that's going to need some help and assistance come you it scrambles up your day, that's fine. Adjust to it. It may not happen that day, but can it happen the next day? You know, time management. Knock it out. I would hey, like, comment, subscribe, and check this out. Knock it out. Listen. Real talk. Real talk. In the past, I used to work out in the mornings. You know, football, track, you know, you got college, you know, training and stuff. I like to go work out early in the morning because there's not a lot of people and my breath be stinking. So. Time management. Time management.